I'm scared shitless sometimes because I've seen what the Looking at that field right there, you're gonna see a shadow moving right there. There's about almost 8,000 people that have died here. I'm freaking myself out. Founded in 1888 in Downey, California, Rancho's Los Amigos Rehabilitation Center was considered a world-renowned hospital that provided special care to individuals. The hospital became immensely successful before it shut down in the 80s. This property was also known as a Los Angeles County Poor Farm. Patients would be provided food, shelter, and medical in exchange for work. It had a working farm, its own post office, a World War II army base, and a miniature zoo before it shut down and fell into despair. Ranchos Los Amigos treated patients with mental and chronic illnesses, spinal cord injuries, stroke, brain injuries, and other neurological disorders. It also treated patients for polio, TB, and the Spanish flu. The U.S. Marine Corps occasionally uses South Campus to perform military training drills. During one of the exercises, troops opened a freezer in a former pathology building and discovered a package full of mummified body parts. The coroner's office identified 10 legs, feet, and brain matter and determined that these were amputated medical specimens. Although the place is now dilapidated, it still gives off that creepy, eerie vibe. This location was also ranked as California's hotspots for haunting and paranormal activity. Bodies of the unclaimed residents who died at the farm were buried at the potter's field. The field has since been relocated after a terrible flood washed away some of the caskets in 1914. People who have been brave enough to visit this hospital have reported seeing strange activity around the abandoned southern campus. Some locals have stated they have seen faces and figures from the rundown windows of the asylum. Others have said the lights will mysteriously flick on and off during the late hours of the night. When walking or driving by the building, many say they can't help but feel a force watching them. A force making them look in the direction of the barren condemned asylum. Some people even dare to journey inside have witnessed the strange activity firsthand. Locals have stated they have seen a dark figure in the shape of a man looking out of one of the hospital's windows. He is said to be an elderly man that had hung himself while staying at the hospital. Most of the ghosts have been said to just be looking, peering out of windows, or staring at trespassers who venture into the buildings. Perhaps they are looking for someone to accept them. Locals have often theorized that the spirits of the hauntings are the result of an undesirable corpse being washed away in that tragic flood. Whatever the case, it is clear these ghosts cannot let go of the hospital. When we came now, I was like, oh shit, everything's like concrete slab, everything's missing except for a couple buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, wow. Yeah, they're all gone. Last time there was definitely... I'm scared shitless sometimes because I've seen what the fuck's here, all right? And I'll show I you right it. now because I only caught a little snippet of it and I got lucky of it. You're looking at that field right there. You're gonna see a shadow moving right there. Uh, 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 right there, in the middle, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just moving. Uh, like, is really that going weird. like this, swaying? Yeah. It's I have seen this shadow. This is when the buildings were up, and it was down over there, it's right next to a morgue. The building is pretty creepy. Uh, I have not seen anything around here. My partner has seen. A woman and a, and a daughter or something moving around. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's about almost 8,000 people that have died here. So I figured, yeah, I'm going to um, see something here. Hi. <laughs> Hello, my name is Joy. Joey. Is there anybody here that would like to communicate with us? Two devices over there. You're more than welcome to use them. I laugh. You get close to the bush and you get sprayed by a skunk. I'm freaking myself out. Just came to 
the document. See if there's anybody here. Are you upset that they tore down the buildings? Let yourself know. Come talk to us. You don't have to be afraid. Me goes hospital in Downey. Um, they tore down a lot of the buildings. This is one of the few buildings remaining at this location. If there's anybody here, can you do that? Make yourself known. You hear that? I think it's raccoons. Talk to any spirits that want to communicate or have something left to say. If there's any of you that here that are around that are interested, you can walk in more than welcome to come forward. These devices won't hurt you, okay? So go ahead and light that up and we'll hear you. Just to let us know that to get our attention.
touch it again. Touch the device again. Do it again. When I'm recording over here on videoing you. Feel like every time I turn away, it just goes off and then I record it, it stops. Are you happy they're renovating? They're tearing buildings down. Are you happy there's going to be a new beginning? As you lit that up, it just went off. Good job, thank you. Keep doing that. Can you keep doing that? Can you tell me your name? Tell me your name. Tell me uh, what year you were here. Or uh, what year do you think it is currently? Don't be afraid. I'm just getting, I'm gonna stay right here, okay? Don't be afraid, make that go off again. Devices are not going to hurt you. We just, it's just for us to um, be able to communicate with you. Can you do that one more time? Go ahead and touch it. You're doing a great job. Do you want me to leave? Do you want me to walk away? Light that up and I'll walk away. What about? Did you find that funny? We're fighting with a cockroach. Thank you. 
Hi. Robert. Will you ignore the first few letters that come out? Is that the sign you're showing me? Hi, how's your name, Robert? I can take it off night vision because it's not. I can't take it off night vision because it's light. Iron Crescent. I already did it. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Shit. Iron Crescent sign. Are you showing us a sign? Thank you. I have another device right next to it. Can you, can, could you touch that for us too? I think you want to touch it, but you're a little nervous. You don't have to be nervous. You're doing such a good job. And by you touching that is letting us know that there is something here, someone here, not something, someone here that wants to, is curious about that device or wants to talk to us. So if you're curious about the device, can you just touch it? Or if you want to, or if you want to communicate, can you also touch it? And I also have a device in my hand too, you can touch. We only got like a couple more minutes and then we're gonna head out. So now's your chance. Go ahead and touch it for us, please. If I count to three, can you do it? One, two, three. Thank you. That's amazing. That's, that is amazing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I know there's somebody here. By you doing that is letting me know that you're here. Okay. Can you do it one more time? If you're okay and you want us to stay for a little bit longer and talk to you, touch it if you want us to stay and talk to you. But we can't stay very long. Okay. Just a few minutes. So go ahead and touch that if you want us to talk to you. same way just walk right up to it and just reach your hand out or your foot or whatever you want to put I'm gonna walk towards it okay I'm gonna see if the devices are how sensitive it is so don't be afraid I'm just gonna walk up to it okay okay so again if you want us to stay for a minute can you please disturb oh I'm sorry I disturbed you said it disturbed him as soon as I walked by. Aim dog went. Did you go away? He said disturb as soon as I walked over there. I didn't mean to disturb you. I just wanted to make sure the settings were correct. Set it off if you want us to stay for a few more minutes. Can you do that please? My name is Joy and that's Joey. He has a camera in his hand. You can just walk up to it and yell something and I should be able to hear you when I get home. Do you want us to leave? Can you light that up? I also have a device in my hand. Can you yell something in there? We both have the devices that can hear us. Or hear you, I'm sorry. Because I feel like there's stuff crawling all over us. Secure. Oh, this very Maybe it's him. Yeah. Maybe it's the same dude. No, this is part. Oh, is it? It's a different guy. Okay, light it up. Do you want us to leave? Do you know the security guard here? Are they nice to you? Do they bother you at all? Or do you try to talk to them? Okay, we're gonna pack up and go. Is that okay? It's 
that aim went. So I think when I touched it, I disturbed it and scared it off. Aim blaze. Oh, round. Oh, rain. Aim blaze. Referring to the, the fire? Was it a blazing fire? Okay, we're leaving. I think I scared it. I think whatever, whoever it was. Although most of the buildings are non-existent, there's still that eerie vibe. I believe that spirits still linger. If you enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up on your way out. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Until next time, stay safe. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You'll hear more of this wonderful sexy audio in the background. Yeah. I want to get my coochie scratched. Say what? What? Well, I'm out, man.